All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here and today we are actually back with something pretty special You know, I, I know you're probably thinking like is he at a 12 win reward game like every other day? Uh, for for the past few weeks I have been like every time I've been playing Battle Royale I've basically gotten to the the 12 game win reward that I don't know if that was right I don't know, I, that sounded weird when I said that. But anyways, I have a little bit of a unique team. As you can tell uh, in the last video, I drafted uh, 98 overall Adam Wainwright as my closing pitcher. Um, for the f first time I think I've ever done that, like record or drafting a relief pitcher as the first pick. It was the first pick. And so I got a pretty good bullpen. Justin Wilson's all right. He's not the best lefty to have. I got Pedro Strop or Strope, and then Addison Reed, and a few others. But uh, my team is David Peralta, Zach Cozart, Justin Bohr, Buddy Bell, 93 overall, uh, AJ Pollock, 88, David Dahl, Wilson Ramos, Josh Harrison. So I only have one diamond in the hitting portion of my lineup, which is a little bit different for me. And hopefully, um, hopefully, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, my face isn't gonna be blurry. Uh, throughout parts parts of the video because I actually finally did uh, I finally switched it to manual focus Which I don't know why I hadn't before because I had it on autofocus and it was like screwing up and just Going out of focus constantly throughout my video. So I finally switched it. I finally realized that I'm an, I'm an idiot But anyways, we're in the 12 game win reward game. I that sounded so weird. Why did I say it like that? Um, and also I casted my votes for the uh, World Series stuff and playoff stuff and wild card in this game. You know how you can do that. You, you redeem a ticket and then say who's going to win the NL and AL wild card, wild card and then who's going to win the World Series. And I put for AL wild card the Twins beating the Yankees, which that game is tonight. I'm wearing my Sano jersey uh, right now. And then I put in the Rockies beating the Diamondbacks for tomorrow and I said the Dodgers are gonna win the World Series because I really do think they are. Um, for a while I thought it was gonna be the Astros but honestly I feel like the Dodgers just can't be beat right now. I think they're one of the most exciting teams in baseball. I mean the two, I think it's gonna be Astros and Dodgers in the World Series and then I think the Dodgers are gonna win. Uh, but anyways, 81 overall Lou Brock. On the other team, we're at, we are the home team, 92 Griffey, 89 Beltre, 99 Eddie Murray, and then a few others, I missed it. But anyways, one special thing that has happened, who he's only 1-1, one one, so nice, I might actually win this game. Um, I hate when people lead off with Lou Brock though, he's so annoying, but he only has a 143 average with him. Look at this, I have a zero ERA with Adam Wainwright. I have not let up a single run with him, the runs have only come from um, when I use pitchers like uh, Justin Wilson, he let up actually a bunch in uh, one of the games, and I think that's what cost me the game. But other than that, honestly, I think I've let up maybe I've let up maybe like five, six total runs, seven total runs throughout this run. I don't know, it's been crazy. And it looks like this guy's gonna be chasing, which is a great sign, an absolutely great sign. Um, and hold on, who should we put in? Should we put in someone for this guy? Nah, 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 nah. All right, so this guy is chasing everything. I threw a really inside slider, and I don't know how he got to it, but he did, and that's not the best. But anyway, so I think we're just gonna toss in Wainwright pretty early in this game. Usually keep him for the second or third inning, but I figured I might as well just put him in since he hasn't lit up a single run and his pitches are just so nasty um, That sinker is just filthy and we got an out right there And now we got Murray up and I think I'm just gonna toss a circle change because he I don't I think he swung at every pitch so far this game Yeah, so we're just gonna see what he wants to do with this guy right here curveball. Ooh, he left he let it go I'm surprised um Eddie Murray's up so and he hits righties better, which is probably not the best decision to put Wainwright in but that's a very good cutter solid pitch now Let's see if we can get him with the circle change. This would be key. This would be key. No Okay, we're gonna we're gonna toss it there one more time. Oh shoot. I left it up. No, I didn't okay There we go buddy Bell great fielder over there 
gets the out, and that's out number three, and we're already out of the first inning, so let's see what we can do at the plate, and we got David Peralta leading off. Unfortunately, he's not playing up on anything. I think they're going to start ending the whole inside edge thing soon, probably. I don't know if they do it through the playoffs, but anyways, Peralta's been playing pretty well for me. I, this is really not a hitting-based squad, which I'm surprised that I have been playing so well, even though I do feel like I am a good hitter. I just feel like I've never really done a run without a good hitting squad. So, well, it's still a good hitting squad, but it's nothing near what I usually play with. And there's a nice deep fly ball. Oh my gosh, I did not think that was gonna make it out. Home run, lead off home run for David Peralta off of Tyler Cloyd. And now we got Zach Cozart up, who's been hitting fantastic for me. I love using this Cozart card, this live series one, or his uh, player of the month one, I think he had one. But um, uh, that's a huge start. We're gonna get Jason Giambi if we win this game. And I'd love to have it just cause one, I can sell him, and two, he was like the first big, first new big name to be introduced into MLB The Show 17. So it's kinda cool to get him, but I probably will end up selling him for like 100K. Um, but anyways, Zach Cozart turns on it, gets a base hit right into, I think Lou Brock in left field maybe. But anyways, this is a great start. We are absolutely killing it. So let's see what Justin Bohr can do. Get going, get going. Uh, I turned on it, probably had a good swing, but it's probably just gonna show that I just was right on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. And it, oh no, I was under it, I was under it. It was 99 miles an hour too. And Buddy Bell is gonna ground into a double play. That's okay though, we're up. We are up one very early, so that's huge. Now all I gotta do is hold them, and we are towards the middle and bottom of the lineup. And now we have a righty on righty. This is good stuff. This is great stuff over here. We're gonna toss a sinker in there. I'm telling you, this is like, against righties, this is like 80% of the time my starting pitch, although that was left right down the middle. But um, that's high sinker. It just drops in there, and then they always just swing late. And there's a nice nice little cutter over there. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the curveball again, because this curveball is so... It moves so much and it's slow and yep, he check swung and it was it was a strike. So that's pretty solid. Uh, now we got Beltron up. We're gonna start him with a low circle change. Not low enough though, oh my. Oh my gosh, that curveball. Got him again with the curveball. There's out number two, if he can flip it to him. Jeez, that kind of scared me. That Beltron card's actually really good. I, I usually draft it when I see it. Uh, now we got Marasco, and you know, I'm just gonna do that thing again. It looks like I already have the big bar from pitching so well with him, and that one was left down the middle again. What am I doing? I can't be doing that in this situation. But anyways, this Wainwright card, I definitely recommend it. I don't think I've ever hit against it, but the, it's absolutely filthy. I don't, I don't know what it is, but like I just, I just pitch so well with it and they can't hit it. They Even if I like let a pitch like that, that's kind of not the best pitch. Um, I'll just, they'll just not hit it right. I don't know, it might just be uh, super, super hard to see the ball from him. And it looks like he is gonna get a base hit though. There we go, first pitch of the next at bat. Got him to fly out. And that is huge, second inning down. We're the home team, so all we have to do is hit and then stop him. And I think I'm gonna warm up Strop, Strope, however you pronounce it, because I'm probably gonna have to put in Wilson for the two lefties coming up. But anyways, let's go, let's see what we can do. AJ Pollock with the base hit down the third baseline, that's huge. That's huge, there we go, good start to the inning. Dahl turns on it. Is it gonna get over his head? Yes it is. That's got to be scoring him. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to go three. No, we're going to go back. There we go. RBI double. That's huge, dude. David Dahl, I'm telling you, he's like a bronze center fielder or something, outfielder, and he's so good. I think it was the first game I played with him. He had a home run uh, opposite field uh, at the Diamondback Stadium, and it was like a re it was a tough pitch. I don't know. It was weird. But anyways, there's another RBI double from Wilson Ramos. And here we go, we're killing it!
And that's gonna be an infield base hit. Let's go! Now we got Wainwright up. Now the question is, you know, we're gonna take him out. Uh, Wainwright, it's been a hell of a run. Um, but I think we're gonna let the other part of the bullpen take it from here. It's three nothing, no outs. I don't really have to worry about it, and I don't want I don't want to go lefty on lefty. But that's kind of cool. Let's go. Now we're gonna put in Harmon Killebrew with 99 power versus lefties. Oh, you fell into my trap. Let's go. And uh, no, it worked. It worked. Oh, he missed it. Okay, Killebrew. Advance the runners. I'll take it. There we go. Peralta with the base hit somehow gets through and it's gonna score one run and now it's four nothing. This is huge. Four nothing and it's still only one out and we only have to pitch for one more inning. And Cozart Oh, I thought I didn't get it quite an, uh, enough under it. But anyways, it scores another run, it's five nothing now. Oh my goodness, this is actually crazy. This is amazing. Justin Bohr, let's go. Come on. Ah, oh, he pops out. Alright, that's gonna be the end of the inning, but let's let's get him in the third. Alright, well he's gonna keep his pitcher in for some reason. I don't know if he accidentally did that. Yeah, he did. And now he's gonna toss in someone from the bench, and it looks like it's gonna be Marcus Semin Seaman? Semine? I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, and he's gonna pop out. I, I don't even really have to worry about placement too much because I don't think he's gonna come back from a 5-0 run. I'll give a subscriber $300 if I lose this game. Um, because I really don't think it's gonna happen, especially when he's swinging at that. And a pop out from Lou Brock. And now we got 92 overall breakout, 1990 Ken Griffey Jr. And I think that's going to be... Oh, I thought he was going to swing and just ground out right there. Um, good pitch. Broken bat. Twelfth game win. There we go. This is kind of cool. I lost one game that... Because of... Ju I think it was Justin Wilson just screwed me over. And I didn't... I don't know if I scored any runs. But anyways, we got our 12 wins. We got our Jason Giambi. And I'm going to go check actually how much he is worth because this is kind of cool. Um, not, not that I, I, mean, yeah, I, didn't, I did not want to use him. I don't care to use him at all. But um, it's just a little cool thing. Get another 12 wins and this one. And I got Madison Bumgarner, which is cool. Um, but anyways, let's go check who are or how much he is really worth. We got a lot of 99s to go through now. Hold on, there he is. Uh, Jason Giambi, only 85k, nothing special. And Bumgarner is probably like 30 or 40. Yeah, Bumgarner's only 28k, it's like 30k. So, and I'm only gonna get like 25k for that. Um, but anyways, it was another 12 win reward, another 12 win run. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Please subscribe here if you are new, and as always, I hope you're all having a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.